Hello friends and welcome to my new video. I received many questions how you can do a workout without a pull up or a dip bar. That's why I will show you a workout that you can do at home without a pull up or a dip bar. For the first exercise you need a belt that you can put on your door handle and then lay your upper body back and pull yourself towards the door handle. Make sure that your shoulders are depressed and retracted during the movement and bring your elbows close to your body while you're pulling yourself up. If it is too difficult with one arm, you can do it with both arms. Therefore grab the belt in a narrow grip and do the same like before. For the second exercise, elevated pike push-ups, you need something you can put your feet on or you as well can put your feet on the ground which makes it easier. Now place your hands shoulder width and bring your butt up that you have this uh, pike position. You go as low as your head almost touches the ground. Try to do it with protracted and elevated shoulders especially when you lock out your elbows. If it is too hard. You can go for regular push-ups, therefore your body should be aligned and go full range of motion. Try to do it with depressed and protracted shoulders. Especially when you're on the top, you should aim for a full protraction of your shoulder. Now for the third exercise, hollow body jackknife which is a abdominal exercise. Sit on the ground and start with this hollow body position, then bring up your upper body and your legs at the same time. Make sure that you are doing a posterior pelvic tilt during the whole movement. If this variation is too hard, here I will show you an easier one. Therefore you will kick your legs in and out and your upper body don't go as low as before. The next exercise, reverse plank press, is a really good exercise for your posterior chain. For this, place your arms shoulder width and place your feet on a chair. Now lower your hips and touch the ground, then bring them up as high as possible. Your elbows and your knees are fully extended and your shoulders are depressed and retracted. On the last rep, go for a static hold for around 5 to 10 seconds. If you want to do it easier, just place your feet on the ground and do the same thing. Remember to keep your shoulders depressed and retracted all the time. Here as well, go for a static hold after your last rep. So now let's go to the last exercise, the pistol squats. I know they are really advanced, but no worry, later on I will show you the easier variation. For the execution, place your feet shoulder width and while you're going down, bring your arms in front of you and one of your legs as well. Make sure that your knees are on the same line like your toes and go really controlled down. The easier variation is the Bulgarian split squat, where you place one of your feet behind of you on a chair and then go up and down with your body and keep going on, of course with the other leg as well. Now we are done with the home workout, now it's your time to try it out and let me know how it was. Thanks for your support and have a good try. You do.